in San Marcos, but that didn't stop people from coming out to honor fallen officer Ken Copeland. He was murdered Monday while serving a warrant. KXAN's Aaron Cargill takes us to tonight's vigil outside the Hayes County Courthouse. Tragedy will test us, but our strength will define us. Bad people cannot break us no matter what they do. Dozens braving the cold to honor the brave. Our community will come together and become stronger than ever before. Among the men and women in blue, a family on the front row who never knew Officer Kenneth Copeland. Their grandfather is in law enforcement and their grandmother was in law enforcement years ago. And, and just it's something close to my heart and I just want to make sure that they experience that and they understand what coming together as a community means. You know, our chief couldn't have said it better. He was a hero. He will always be a hero to all of us. You know, always greeted the community with his uniform, without his uniform. Typically with a token of kindness in his hand. He actually carried a cooler of double chicos in the back of his vehicle and he would give one to everybody. A fallen officer remembered in the falling snow. It's snowing. It's in Marcus. <laughs> I like to think it's him. And that was our Aaron Cargill reporting. The public will have a chance to say goodbye to Officer Copeland. A public visitation is next Tuesday from 2 in the afternoon until 10 at night at Thomason Funeral Home in San Marcos. A funeral follows the next day.